changes uh, since it was last voted down on July 1st. Uh, we made changes uh, that didn't necessarily uh, alter the fact that LGBT uh, Kirk civilians would be protected from discrimination if it were to pass. Uh, the enforcement mechanism is slightly altered, and there are a couple of reassuring points uh, for those who are concerned that this might lead to other things. Uh, but the ordinance that is in front of the council tonight is fully inclusive, uh, has the teeth necessary to prevent discrimination in Kirksville, um, and I'm very excited to say that I think we have a really good chance of passing it either tonight or on August 19th. It's been uh, back and forth, as you know, and I think most of you were there when uh, things went the opposite direction on, on July 1st. Uh, but the fact that you all came back uh, is what makes me know that this is going to get done uh, no matter what. It's because I know that you came back today and it's gonna, it means you're going to come back next time and the time after that and the time after that and the time after that until this gets passed. Uh, but it's not going to take long because it's going to be tonight or it's going to be on the 19th. You can count on that. Uh, and the reason is uh, Councilman Moritz has been championing this from the beginning on the council. Uh, inside the chambers and on the front lines, uh, really there's only so much that we can do off the council from the outside. It takes having an advocate, a champion inside the room to push things forward and that's been Glenn from day one. Uh, we supported his candidacy because we knew that he was going to be a great councilman, uh, not only on this issue but on a number of others. And we're really glad that he was elected um, and since he was, he has been the best advocate that we could have asked for inside the study sessions and the council chambers and that has really been incredibly important. Um, and I'm going to turn things over to him. He is going to uh, speak to you about the work that he has done. Uh, but he has been absolutely integral in getting this where it has been, uh, where it is today. And he will be absolutely integral in getting it passed, be it tonight or in two weeks. Uh, Councilman Glenn Moritz. Well, thanks. thanks. Uh, it, uh, it really is a privilege to be here uh, in, in many respects. Uh, uh, but yeah, like Aaron said, uh, it, it was a privilege to meet uh, him. Uh, I'm one of the volunteer city council meetings I went to um, uh, before I was actually elected. So we've had a wonderful association since then, and I'm sure we will in the coming days. Uh, some of you may or may not know me. Uh, uh, I ran off to the big city. I, it's, it's hard to, for me to believe. I occasionally still pinch myself that I'm actually back in my hometown. Uh, so, uh, you know, like most things, it seems that God has a, has a purpose for it. But uh, you know, I can, I can truly kind of hear and understand, you know, both both sides of the, the coin. Um, I was uh, actually raised in a pretty dysfunctional religious uh, atmosphere where it, it was taught that you know, if everybody's not like you, then then they're wrong. And uh, so that's that's unfortunate uh, that uh, so many people. Uh, stay that way, you know, their whole lives, and uh, just don't give people a, a consideration or a chance you know, like they deserve. Uh, but you know, as time has gone on, uh, uh, you know, it's just been uh, quite a number of different experiences uh, that, that I have had. Kind of, kind of grew up, I guess, in the, in the big, uh, wonderful city of uh, Seattle. Raised my five kids there. You know, so Aaron asked me to, to speak on, you know, why, why I'm really, you know, in favor of this. And, uh, you know, I, I could just say, you know, it's, it's the right thing and step on down. <laughs> but I, I will elaborate a, a little. Uh, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it, it's amazing to me, uh, like Sherry alluded to one time, you know, if you're not really in the fray or knowledgeable about something, it's just so easy to point at somebody and say, you know, that can't be true. I mean, um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure there's some of, of you that if you were, you know, possibly turn the clock back, you know, this whole argument that, that you know, folks choose uh, this, uh, you know, it, it's pretty far from the truth, you know. Uh, you know, I don't think everyone that uh, you know, is LGBT, uh, you know, uh, just you know, woke up one day when they were 10 or 15 or, or 20 and said, I think that'd be a real fun, you know, easy way to live my life. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's quite interesting to me, the uh, uh, Christian organization that was the leader in reparation uh, therapy, uh, Exodus International, ha has actually come out and, and apologized. 
uh, for for you, you knew that Maria. Yeah. Uh, they apologize for for their efforts uh, because you know they realize that you know for whatever you know there's something in various people you know that are that, you know LGBT and so you know that's that's to me I mean they were the leader in, in reparation therapy which um, certainly um, strikes at uh, some call it choosing um, and of course uh, some of you are students and. You know, it's uh, we really want um, students to feel feel welcome. Uh, you know, in Kirksville, uh, and um, it uh, uh, it's certainly been taken uh, wrongly uh, over the past month. That you know, st a student, you know, well, nobody <laughs> is gay is welcome. You know, let alone students. Uh, you know, I mean, I've heard so many different things. You know, all the all these kids, you know, they're just here for four years. Uh, well, you know, still, you know, we, we all we all count, um, and uh, you know, I like what Sherry said one time that you know, if, if if her children were to move back there, you know, she'd sure like for them to feel welcome to stay here longer. Uh, um, and um, I'm trying to think with the uh, and you know, well, like Paul Woodcox uh, leaving, you know, one of the commissions recently. Uh, Sent a huge, huge statement uh, to the community, and, and he's very, very esteemed, you know, both on the campus and in the community, and uh, appreciated his, his stance on it. Um, but uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, study session. You know, some of the my fellow colleagues have said something about, well, it's not really that big a deal, uh, but of course it is is a big deal. And, and the really sad part is. Um, you know, people trying to somehow intermix this with with religious uh, beliefs is, is just uh, it's, it's pretty illogical. Uh, that uh, you know, we're just simply talking about uh, people that really deserve recognition uh, as, as equals. Uh, you know, we're not questioning anybody's uh, religious belief. Uh, as I told John Anna a minute ago, sure, sure glad you're here again. Uh, so it's just. Uh, so many, so many good reasons uh, for for this. Uh, Sherry has pointed out uh, to me over the past two, three days that there are actually, you know, I keep pressing for numbers. I mean, I'm <laughs> like some of the other fellows in some degree. And so Sherry's actually pointed out to me that there's like, you know, eight or nine people that have actually, you know, emailed her that, uh, you know, local citizens that uh, have said how afraid they are to, uh, uh, you know, to come out for, for fear of what uh, retribution, you know. There might be uh, a couple of people who actually volunteered to have their letters uh, disseminated uh, with taking you know, major pieces of uh, identity out of there. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I can't say how much I, I really, truly admire you know, each and every person, uh, you know, it, uh, being involved here. You know, it does take guts. It does, does take strength to stand up to what you deserve. So... You know, for this, I really, really am glad I came back to my humble little home, hometown and volunteer. Thanks a lot. Woo.